Okay, okay, yeah, I'm looking, we're doing well. Um, we should get the electricity finished at the end of next week, I would hope. So, that gives us two weeks revision? Would that be right? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know how to open up the calendar on my smartphone. Does anyone know how do you open up a calendar on a smartphone? Don't you have a calendar? Oh, I do. Right, what what day? Today's the twenty seventh. So when does your holidays begin? Twenty second. I don't like this app. Well well Friday the twentieth. What what? This app is stupid. Hang on, how do I change the layout? Oh there we go. Okay, sorry. So uh, we'll finish next week. That'll be like Friday the sixth. Yeah. So you have two full weeks of school then after that? Mm -hmm. And do you have the date for your test? No. Uh, it's sort of yeah, on the calendar. It's not the. It says AM, I think it was. Morning exam. Yeah, what morning date? Exam. Uh, it didn't say which day. It's in January, isn't it? Yeah. After that day. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. That's good. Because uh, I was thinking what we could do for revision is we could look at section B questions of the exam, the long questions. Yeah. Because you've been doing section A questions all this time. Mm. Yeah, they all came from the exams. So they're all section A questions. We haven't done any long questions. So by doing the workbook questions, you're also revising for the exam at the same time. It's a double whammy of efficiency. But you haven't seen section B questions yet, so we'll need to be doing that. Okay, is that on the screen? Yeah, we'll we'll start the next lesson which is pretty straightforward. Okay, you got that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we have talked about capacitors, but I think in the two examples you have there, there's no, there's no resistance in the circuit. There are only capacitors and batteries and cells, no resistors, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're looking at now is sticking a resistor into the, the circuit. Um, I drew this yesterday, but it, it's worth drawing again, perhaps. The circuit, um, like this, you have your battery, and then you have a switch here, and then you have a large resistor here, which could be a bulb, or a defibrillator, or a taser, or whatever it is. Um, and what you do, uh, you charge it up and then you swing this down. Oh, sorry, there's no capacitor here. Uh, the capacitor is here. Okay? So, in all the examples today, okay, in all the examples today, I'm going to imagine the capacitor was already charged up. So, I don't, I don't care about the top part of the story. I imagine it's charged up and then we close the switch and we have this picture. That's all I'm looking at today. So we're looking at circuits like this. Resistor and capacitor. Okay? And these are called or C circuits. Or C circuits. Yeah. Oh, you look confused because I drew a resistor. Okay. There. Or oh. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I know. I know. Uh, C or but we, uh, I wanted to call it or C circuit. Yeah, sorry, sorry, that's stupid. Uh, okay, so, um, what? What does R C stand for in like those uh, model cars? Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking remote that too. Control. Oh yeah, remote control. Yeah, these. Oh. Not yet. Yeah, so obvious now. Uh, okay, 
So, uh, RC circuits. Now, um, imagine for the, a moment you stick a little ammeter here to measure the current. What would you expect the graph to look like? Uh, where I put time here in seconds or milliseconds or whatever, and current here, uh, current here, which maybe is in amps or milliamps or whatever. What type of graph do you think we would get? So this is to be stopped before the switch is closed. Yeah, so in all these situations, the beginning moment is when the switch is closed and the capacitor uh, uh, is discharging. Take longer to discharge? Uh, are you saying something like this, is it? or? Oh, sorry, so, uh, maybe like this? Yeah. Okay, okay, good, right. that's, longer. Your, your Zach, that's Zach's answer. Uh, Diego, what do you think? I would say it takes longer to discharge. Uh, so like, 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 yeah, slower. Mo slower more like time. this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see, not a sudden drop. Okay. okay. Any other ideas? For what it might look like? Come on, don't be shy. Wouldn't it be like straight down? You because really, you really are going for it. it has to be a sudden drop. Yeah, okay. No, it's fine. This is, this is good. We're talking. Uh, what? Any other ideas? Uh, Gina? No. Dorian? Lynn? No. Don't even want to have a guess. Hurry. Okay, well, anyways, I'll put you out of your misery. Um, Diego was slightly closer. It, it is a, it is a, it, it's not a sudden drop like you were wondering, Zach. Uh, what do you think? But it's not linear either. Um, it, it's, it's kind of in between your two answers. Initially, it's quite a rapid drop. But then uh, it slowly discharges. In other words, it's exponential. It uh, has a shape that looks a bit like this graph in Matt's class. Do you remember doing this graph with Joan? Yeah? So let's have a look at some values. When time is zero, we have 100 milliamps. And when time is one, we have 70.7. .7. And then when time is two, we have 50 uh, milliamps, okay? Do you notice how at the beginning there's big drops, 30, 20, but then later we see smaller drops, six to four, four to three. So it quickly drops down, but then sort of levels out as it's coming to the end. Yeah, can you, see, you can all picture this? Yeah, it's okay? Um, as you can see, the graph is exponentially decreasing, which is not a surprise. Well, I guess it was a surprise. Uh, it will have a sort of exponential formula like this to it. Now, I think what I'd like you to do, because you probably don't have much in your notes just yet, I would love for you to sketch this. Now, I don't need it to be beautifully perfect, but I certainly want to see the, the shape. They sometimes ask you to sketch this in the exam, this particular one. Uh, I don't want you to do it too neat. Uh, just a quick drawing, please. It's because of the rule that uh, the current is constant in series. It doesn't matter where you put the ammeter. No, constant throughout the circuit, not necessarily constant throughout time.
So like we could say the temperature is everywhere constant in this room, as in it's the same temperature at every point. But of course it's not temp constant throughout time. Okay, have you got sketches? Can I see Lynn? Yep. Oh, Dorian and Gina, you're putting in too much effort. Uh, I only wanted a quick sketch. Do none of you cycle? Yeah. None of you cycle? No. Well, you here? Here. Yeah. My bike is broken. You have a bike here? Yeah. Oh, great. I'm just going to go. What? What's going on? Where's my thing? No, I was like 13 years old. Man. So old. 13 years old, it was a while ago, huh? You don't cycle here. Where do you live? In Africa. I didn't cycle here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you draw that? Let's see, Dorian. Nice. You got it labeled? Mm. The X and the Y? Mm. Yes, okay. Uh, Harry? Nice, okay. Diego, are you ready? Oh, you're gonna keep going. Okay. I will check what you have. What's 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 the Spanish? Was it under the under the under the That's more like for Mexicans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> is there is there a Spanish equivalent? Vamos. Uh, oh yeah, vamos. 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 What's the first letter? V. V. Vamos. Vamos. V a o o s. V a m m s. Vamos. 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 It's like what? Hurry up? Yeah, it's like, come on. Come on, okay. Let's go. Vamos, it's like, let's go. Not for a good, you know. Okay. I'll probably forget that, but I'll try to remember. Right. So, as you can see, uh, the graph is exponentially decreasing, which is not a surprise. And we imagine that the formula looks like this. So, um, here we have i, and here we have t, and we think the formula for i will be some constant, which I call i0, e to the power of some other constant, which I'll call minus 1 over tau. Now you might say, why am I writing it like this? Why, why don't I just write it more simply like a t, you know? Well, it's because it'll turn out that um, this particular form is useful to us. So, some constant minus 1 over tau, t. And why am I putting the minus in? What's the purpose of the minus for the graph? To make it always positive. I know. You should, you should know this from Jones' class. Minus 1, wasn't it? Because it's decreasing. What would happen if these constants and variables were positive? It would be an increase in graph. You did this with John, didn't you? Didn't you? And you just forgot, or you didn't do it. Which is it? All right, dude. I can even tell you which page. The last question on 48, isn't it? Hand that to Zach. Time to look at the bottom of 48. Can you see? Yeah. Well, you know exactly what question you do. Uh. Something practical. Mm. I can do those. Well, there you go. The last question, Gina, is the one we're doing where I ask you to sketch. Anyways, this is what we think the formula should be for this graph. 
So you should note this. Thank you. Okay, did you write that down? Tau, Greek letter. You all know your Greek letters, don't you? It's a constant at the moment, and we'll interpret the meaning in a moment. Alpha? That's our Greek letters. We know them, don't we? Alpha, next. Come on. I'll come, I'll come on two, that's it. Gamma, thank you, Gina. Next. Delta, next. No, I'll make it the last one. There's an epsilon, isn't there? Iota. Okay, you said omega. Eta. Sigma. Kappa. Theta. Phi. Psi. Chi. Mu. Rho. You know these letters, don't you? Well, anyways. Tau. We're using tau. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eta here is also a terrorist group, right? Eta, yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Are they called Eta after the Greek letter, or no, it's just a coincident? But when we call them Eta, is it because it's the Greek letter, no, or that's just a coincidence? No, it's just, yeah, it's an abbreviation. It's ah. e point T point A. E point T point A? Oh, I see. I always thought it was after the Greek letter. Okay. Anyways, you don't know these people, I don't think. Do you know Eta? No. No. Diego definitely would know about Eta. <laughs> I wasn't making any accusations. <laughs> Translation? It's, um, um, yeah, it's a Liberty, which means the Basque country of liberty. Ah, okay. Freedom. Freedom fighter type of stuff. Yeah, okay. Right. Now, um, they are the Spanish equivalent of IRA. The IRA. Yeah. Yes, yes, indeed, yes. Uh, it's difficult to get information from a curved graph. We can see the I0 is from the graph, its initial value, but what about the 1 over tau? So look, if I go back to this formula, uh, the I0, what does that represent on the graph? It will be this value here, right? The initial value. So if I look at my table, uh, in the table, what was the I0 then? 100 milliamps, okay. The problem is with these graphs, what the heck is this? There's no way to see on the graph what this is, okay. And this is a common problem in physics. You know, if I have the graph y equals a e k t, the a is the initial value, but how the heck do you get the k? <laughs> no. Um, so the thing I'm going to show you next is one of the proofs on the exam. Now, at this point in the course, we've only done two proofs that you might need for the exam. Does anyone remember what the other proof was that we did that could could be on the exam? Yeah, that one um, from UVATS. UVATS, correct, 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 correct. correct. Now, yeah, you're right, but the full proof isn't on the exam. I'm sorry, I should have made my question a bit clearer. We've only done two proofs where they would ask you to reproduce the full proof. The UVATS, and now this, okay? So what you're about to write down, you might want to make some kind of note that it's an exam proof, exam proof, okay? And it's, um, do you remember how many times I told you the UVATS proof came up in the exam? Mm -hmm. No, zero times. Oh. Zero times. But this one here I've seen uh, a few times. Okay? So you start off by saying I equals I0 
e minus 1 over tau t. And then what you do is you put a log on both sides. So, what rule of logs do I use next? You did the rules of logs with Joan. Which rule do I need now? Thank you, Harry. Log I zero plus log E minus one over tau T. Now, Dorian, we can do what you suggested, which was what? Yeah. What's log E? which I'll now write as equals minus 1 over tau t plus log i0. Now what you want to do is to make a graph where you let... Such a relaxing reminder. No, it's not a wake up <laughs> one. No, that would be a big problem. A 10.55 wake up <laughs> not be good for a school day um, let uh, ba, 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 what was I saying oh, yeah. so make a graph where you let y equal log i and on the x axis you put time okay so you're making a graph where this guy is y this guy is x and we have this here so what shape graph will we get here? Look at the formula. Yeah. Linear. It's linear, isn't it? And not only that, this linear, the slope has an interpretation now. What will the slope equal? Minus 1 over tau. Therefore, this is the result. A plot of log current against time, <coughs> not necessarily, uh, a plot of log current against time will have a slope equal to minus 1 over tau. So if you plot log i, and time instead of i, your graph now will go like this. And this slope here will equal minus 1 over tau. So this proof, uh, you need it. I've seen it on the exam two or three times. It's a standard enough question proof. I think I've gotten most of your essays at this point, haven't I? I got yours this morning, Harry. I got yours, Lynn. I got yours, Gina. Dorian, I got yours. Diego? No. Zach? Oh, guys. <coughs> Why didn't I send it yesterday, man? <coughs> <coughs> well, there's no point in sending it today because uh, I won't have time to give you feedback for tomorrow's class. So just bring it to class tomorrow. Uh, with your laptop.
Oh, Harry, yeah, maybe you didn't hear this. Uh, I need you to bring your laptop tomorrow. We'll work on the essay. Uh, did everybody understand that feedback? Yeah? Diagrams of some kind. Yeah. Well, like my references. Huh? As my references, I bookmarked them. You will add them in later? Yeah, because I bookmarked them. Okay, fine. Yeah, 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 fine, fine, fine. No problem. You do have the references then. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I want at least six references in the essay in total. Okay. So, do you think you have six? Yeah. Okay. Uh, continue. Do you all have this written down? Yeah. Yes? Continue? Okay. So, what I want you to do, um, that table I gave you, oh, maybe you didn't write it down. The table from earlier, okay, I, I've taken the time to calculate a new value, Gina. The table from earlier, I've taken the time to calculate a new value called blog i. Okay, do you remember this table from earlier? Yeah? Here I have log i, okay? What I want you all to do now is plot the time on the x and the log i on the y. And you'll get a more interesting graph. Now look, be careful. <coughs> the biggest value is 4.61, so I think you need to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on your y-axis, okay? What's wrong, Dorian? You don't look... Happy. In fact, you look really tired. What time do you go to bed at? Yeah, that'll do it all right. Were you at least up late watching Rick and Morty? Uh, I should probably start then. Oh, well, what are you doing up until one thirty? Gaming? No, I'm just chatting. Yeah. Okay. Do you know money heist? Oh. Which? Money heist. No. Okay. Spanish production. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you have Netflix, I don't have Netflix, but okay. there's other there's other websites I have yeah. access to. <laughs> right. Uh, can you plot this, please? You know what our websites? Ho ho ho. Oh, well, I know the good one, the old good one. The classic blog, one. They are blog, but then like they closed, and then I never use them. Anymore. Sometimes I use the I use a website that has, you know, ships and people on ships and they're sailing. You know? <laughs> he gets it. I just put like the name of the woman and then okay. all the websites are one of them. Oh, we've got the time on the X. Time on the X, log I on the Y. Now, I want you to make this a little neater because in a moment, I'm going to ask you to estimate the slope of the line you're about to draw. Ah, oh, just so. Uh, neat enough, please.
Okay, have you drawn that? Do you need it to until it reaches zero? Not necessary, no. No. So, um, in the exam, in fact, this is an exam question. When they ask you to make a graph on graph paper, so I think everyone's graph looks something like this, yeah? Um, what you should do is pick the two furthest points on your graph. So I think this point here was zero uh, comma, and then this one here is nine comma, four nine. Okay, so the gradient, the slope, will be 1.49 minus 4.61 over 9 minus 0 equals negative 0.3. Now keep your calculator open because I want to get the tau. The tau will be minus 1 over minus 0 0.347, and that will equal 2.881. Now, I haven't actually told you yet what the units are for tau. I haven't told you this yet. We'll see later what the un why the units are this, but the units for tau is actually uh, seconds. Now we'll explain that in a moment, okay? Continue? Yes? Now, so you know the graph is linear, right? Um, and we've done this proof already. Yeah, we have this proof done, so we're good with that. Uh, oh, so the other thing to mention is this graph is true not just if you plot the current, but if you had a voltmeter and you plot the voltage. Good news is, folks, uh, you get the same formula and the same goes for charge. Do you see? It's, it's just, you see how they all have the same structure? No, no, I don't need you to. Uh, what will I need you to write down? Uh, the, the the concept is that. Um, you basically have a value <coughs> equals the value at the beginning zero e minus one over tau t and this is true for current charge voltage And in case you have any questions, the tau is the same for each one. Okay, you got that folks? Yes? <coughs> now, we've used it, but we've not talked about what the heck it is. The tau constant. So here's the definition, okay? The tau is called the, well, I don't think any of you know. Does anyone know? It's called the time constant. And we have two ways to calculate it. The first way is using the formula I proved for you. Yeah? But there is another formula which is quite interesting for calculating the tau. So the other formula for tau, if you can believe this, is resistance times capacitance. Now that's very interesting. That's very interesting.
because it means that if you have the graph, you can calculate the tau, like we did earlier, right? What did we get? 2.88 or something, wasn't it? <coughs> if you know the tau and you know the or, what can you get? The C. Or, if you know the tau and you know the C, you can get the or. So it's useful having both these formulas. Okay? Now, uh, we haven't talked about what the tau represents exactly, uh, but just to note that the, the tau, there's another thing that's useful about the tau. Earlier we got 2.88, wasn't it? Seconds. If you multiply this by 5, then you have the time it takes for the capacitor to fully discharge. Okay? Uh, approximately. Uh, so, 2.88 times 5, what's that, about 14 seconds or whatever, that's how long it would take the capacitor to discharge fully. Okay. Uh, this isn't in the formula book, it's a fact you need to remember. A five time constant is the discharge time. So therefore the units are seconds. Who the heck is calling me? Who the heck is this? Uh, reject. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the units are seconds. Have you got that? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, I have a question here, but it's so similar to what we're doing, I don't want to use this one. Instead, I'm going to modify the one we did earlier. So, uh, where's our T gone? There it is, 2.88. Okay, so what I would like you to do, I'm going to add um, two questions to this. Okay, so using this graph that you've done for me, I want to know uh, how long to discharge. That's question one. And question two, find C if R equals one kilo ohm. Okay. Answer those two for me, just so I can know that you've got this idea. Kilo ohms, yeah. Look at my ohm. Disgusting looking. What the heck is that? Okay, I believe the time is about 14.4 seconds, is it? 14.4 seconds. And then we can use the formula tau equals or C. So C is tau over or, which is 2.88 over 1,000. Yeah? So that's 2.88 millifarads. Easy peasy? 
How many questions did I give you for this lesson now? Not too many, I think. Oh, really? That many? Yeah. Well, it's only 14 questions if you do them all, which not all of you are doing. So, Yeah? What we'll do, um, the next lesson is a pretty big lesson. We definitely, definitely won't get it finished. So I'll let you try these for a few minutes and we'll get a start on the next lesson. But the next lesson is huge. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, I'll give you... I think these are kind of short questions, so... I don't know, somewhere between five and ten minutes. It would be fantastic if you got three of them done now. That would be fantastic. <laughs>